Did you know that there's different levels of financial freedom that one can achieve, but there's also ways to accelerate them? Maybe you're unaware of them. Maybe you don't even know the different levels of financial freedom, even though you have a general idea. Today, I want to break that down. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is how to accelerate the four levels of financial freedom. All right, so let's jump in because there's four levels of financial freedom I want to explain first, and then I'll talk to you about how do you accelerate them. The first level is what we call survival. Now, why would we use the word survival? Well, when we're talking about financial freedom, we got to think about what does that really mean? All that really means is your passive income surpasses your expenses, whatever that, whatever you have on a monthly basis. So let's just say your bills are $5,000 a month. Awesome. If you have $5,001 that surpasses those, that bill, right? You are now financially free. Now, you don't have to be a millionaire or multimillionaire or billionaire to be financially free. See, most people have this misconception that you gotta be worth so much money. I know people that literally, their bills were $1,500 a month and they had over $2,000 a month in passive income coming in and they were financially free. Now, they were at their survival level but they were still financially free. So the survival level is that you can pay your bills and pretty much that's it, right? You're surviving, you're just getting by. Now, you don't wanna live there, but it is a good stepping stone. And a lot of the clients that I've worked with and help people do financial freedom, they realize that they are financially free when they're working their job or even their business, their small business that they run. And they realize, I don't have to do this, I get to do this. And now it's just a matter of timing and the game plan in order for them to get free from their job. Now, I don't recommend someone leaves their job unless they're like full head of steam, like they got, they're ready to just go and it's just them. Now, when you wanna leave your job, what I always recommend is you reach a second level of financial freedom. And so what is the second level of financial freedom? That is stabilization. What does that truly mean? It means that you can pay all your bills with your passive income and you can live the lifestyle that you want. Now, does that mean you can go out and buy anything that you want? No, but you can go out to dinner, you can go out to the movies, you can take a trip here and there, but you're not going like big and crazy with it. Stabilization means you have a great lifestyle where you can come and go as you please and your passive income pays for all of it. You don't have to work, you can choose to, you can start a business, whatever you wanna do, but at stabilization, you're now able to have the lifestyle that you want and again not being lavish but you're free the third level is what we call success now this is it I like to think that there's a big gap between stabilization and success now everyone's levels are different and this is a subjective path that I actually take my clients on and I work with them through this and I've even done it myself and I'll share a little bit of a story here in a little bit success is about you can go and do what you want. You can go buy a new car, you can go buy a second home, you can go out and take lavish trips. You are successful. This amount of money coming in passively allows you to do what you want and how you want to do it, right? Like you feel totally successful. You're not getting by surviving. You're not just having a decent lifestyle. You're successful. Now, a lot of people that I know, they don't ever want to reach this level, right? And that's nothing's wrong with that because they have their own belief systems. I don't want to be, you know, seen as someone who's like, oh, so great, or they got this incredible lifestyle which I kind of can see both sides of that. I think when you can promote the financial freedom that you have, it actually fills the other person up with belief that they can do it too. That's why I share my journey on financial freedoms because I want people to believe that they can do it too. You can do it too, right? And so other people say you're egotistical, you're boasting, you're showing off, and it's hard to judge a man's heart, but you can usually feel their energy, right? I wouldn't be doing these videos if I didn't care, if I didn't want to help you guys, right? And so going out there, sharing your level of success with people, and I always say the saying that a life worth living is a life worth recording, and that's kind of why I do this YouTube channel, but anyway, here we go. Um, so success is one of those levels where I feel like there's a big gap, a staircase to get to, and it may take you years, some people takes decades, some people, they, they can like accelerate really quickly to it, 
totally fine. Here's my belief, from stabilization to the level of success and beyond to the fourth level is that if you have a skill, if you have a talent, if you're good at something, if you have some value to bring to the world, why aren't you continuing to press in? You'll make money as a result of serving and helping and blessing other people. So if you're just trying to get to the level of success so you could sit back and do nothing, nothing wrong with that. But I hold the belief that if you're gonna be talented and blessed by God to be able to do something great and to have a skill set or a thought process or a business that can help people, why not double down on it, okay? And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So that's level three. And level four is significance. And this is a level that very few people reach, right? Because it's that pinnacle of success. That's like the Elon Musk out there, the Steve Jobs, right? All these people who have just more money than they know what to do with, that they actually have to give money away. But it's always fun to know where what that level is for you, right? And actually, you don't have to have the money of Elon Musk, but I'm giving you that as an example when you go to create yours, what that might be, right? But this level is you can come and go as you please. You can buy whatever you want. You don't have to think about it. You might want to own a sports team or you know send a rocket to the moon, whatever that is, okay? So level four is significance, and this is where money is no problem. And again, I'm talking passively, right? Now you can do this in active income, right? If you own a business, but if you're owning a business and you're making that much money, my guess is you're not at the forefront of it, right? You could, if you choose to, because you have that skill set, but you don't have to. So here's what I'd like you to do. Get out a piece of paper, draw a triangle, create the four levels, right? First, write down where, what is survival? What amount of passive income would allow you to survive paying your bills and you know just the basic necessities, food, shelter, all that stuff, right? What is that amount of money on a monthly basis? You can do it annually, but I like to do monthly. When I first did this, I think my survival was like $2,000 I wrote down. Like if I could just make $2,000, right? Then go to the next one, which is stabilization. And I remember I put $5,000 there, okay? So what is that in passive income? Now you can do this actively, right? I've done this with active income. And then after I hit those levels, I started focusing on passive income. We're talking about becoming financially free here, not about active income. So what is that? So it was $5,000 a month. I'm like, man, if I had $5,000 a month, how amazing would that be, right? Then let's go to success. What is success? and I put down $25,000 a month passively. You hit $25,000 a month passively, depending on your lifestyle, you can do a lot of great things, a lot of fun things. You don't have to overstretch yourself and this lifestyle and keep up with the Joneses, but 25 grand a month passively, you can have some fun and you're free. And then the last one is significance. What is that passive income number? I know I wrote down $100,000 a month. If I hit $100,000 a month passively, life will be amazing, right? And so that's where we're working towards. And this is a great reference point that you could check in on on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis, right? And I'll talk about how to accelerate this in a moment. All right, so once you've completed that, I invite you to post it somewhere where you can see it every day, you can review it. I had this posted on my board. I remember when I first started doing this on understanding the different levels towards financial freedom. And again, you can use this for active income. If you're just starting out, you're like, I gotta create some active income first. Awesome. But I'm speaking to people who are ready for financial freedom here, all right? So how do we accelerate this? First thing is, I will say this, the first thing is, you must have a plan, an action plan of how you're going to do that from one level to the next, okay? So let's just say you're at survival right now. I would start that in your 4S pyramid here, right? I would start that, all right, I'm at survival. The next one is, you know, $5,000 a month passively. Okay, you know what you're going to do. Now, what's the game plan to get you there? What do you need to do? What are those steps to get you there? Now, I wanna give you a couple examples here that I wrote down that you can actually do because the first thing is, if you're looking to create yourself at the level of survival for financial freedom, first thing is cut out unnecessary bills. Now, I'm not trying to come at this with a minimalistic approach or you know being negative or anything or focusing on like you know uh, pulling back, right, and shrinking, but I will say if you wanna accelerate it, 
cut back on the Netflix, cut back on going out to eat, you know, 17 times a week, right? And spending $1,000 a week on eating out, like totally unnecessary. You can become financially free so much faster, okay? So the first one is cut unnecessary bills, right? And then this is a big one from sur for survival. If you wanna get to that level, some of you, you're not even there, right? But you wanna make sure that you're mastering something. You're becoming a master at that skill set, right? For example, maybe you're a master at marketing. Okay, great, you can make a lot of money actively, but now we wanna start putting people in place that do the work for you where you can start creating enough passive income. So let's just say you create $15,000 a month in business, right? Actively, you're in it and you're gonna hire someone for seven grand a month, plus you're paying for marketing, another five grand, and now that leaves you with $3,000 a month profit taking in. Now I'm not talking about taxes here, but you are now hitting that survival level, okay? So that's the first thing. Next, how do we go from survival to stabilization? How do we accelerate that? And there's two major things that you can do. First is you could double down on what you're doing, right? Let's say, again, that marketing example, you're bringing in 15 grand a month, you can double your ad spend, right? And maybe you're so good at that, you can bump it up to 30, and then you can actually double to $6,000 a month in passive income, and that would cover your lifestyle. Seven or $6,000 a month was your stabilization number, you are now financially free at the stabilization level. You, so you can double down. Now, most people, what they tend to do at this stage, because I know people, they invest in real estate, they buy a couple single family homes or a couple multifamily homes to get them to their survival level. But to get to the stabilization, you're gonna have to invest in bigger deals in real estate, or you're gonna have to own a business where you're not working in it. Again, we're talking about passive income here, right? So you're not gonna be working in it. Next is success. How do you go from stabilization to success? There's just a couple different ways that I've seen a common pattern is, number one is they do larger deals. They go from you know three or four plex to 50, 100, 250, 500 unit apartment buildings, right? Or real estate, they go into commercial, should I say. They go into bigger commercial deals. They also start buying companies. Now, you might have your own company, but once you're really good at that and you dominate that space, right? Let's just say you're a great hot dog stand in this in New York City, right? And you've hired someone and they're running it for you all day and you're making this passive income. You can go out and buy other hot dog stands and actually have seen a stat that those guys make anywhere from 100 grand to like 300K a year on those hot dog stands. Pretty crazy. So that thought popped in, so I'm giving you this example. You can go buy other businesses, but to get to real levels of success, not the hot dog stands, you're going out there and you're buying companies that are doing millions or tens of millions of dollars a year, and then after you know all expenses, you're cut with maybe $500,000 profit, uh, and then that is passive income. If you're not running the company, you have a CEO in there. Okay, so they're buying companies. This is a big state. Okay, then to go to significance, there's a big jump from success to significance. And again, everyone's numbers are going to be different. But some of the things that I've written down here was, you know, take a company public. That is a huge one where you can build a company up to be so successful and then take that company public. You can actually start earning money and putting people in there to run the company for you or having your board, right? They can handle all of it for you. You don't have to be the CEO of that company. Just like success, you're going to find bigger deals. And I'm talking about the large deals. We're talking about apartment complexes that are worth $100 million, the strip malls in the most prime locations. You're going to want to invest in those to get to that significance level. Now, that may take time to generate that wealth. The net worth might be there, but that's what they do. That's what people who are playing at a bigger game do. And then the last one is I've also seen is people that invent something that the masses need and they can sell hundreds of millions, of, if not billions of their product to consumers, right? Especially some that can be consumable, right? So anyway, so inventing something could really help you get to that significance level in a passive income way. So let's wrap up. Here's the deal. You wanna make sure that you go through your 
four levels of financial freedom. Figure out what, uh, what it is for survival for you. What is that number? What is stabilization? What is success and what is significance? Put a star where you are and then circle where you're going. You really need to know what that number is. And you also have to make a game plan on how are you getting there. Now I gave you some ways how, on how to accelerate that, but it's really up to you. Don't let anyone else tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. Pick a path that you feel you're called to and commit to it. Become a master at it and, ex and pour that fuel on it if you find something that really works for you. Financial freedom doesn't have to be hundreds of millions of dollars. It could be a few thousand dollars depending on your situation. But different levels require a different game plan. And you're going to have to change the way you think and you're going to have to change the way you do things. And if you feel like you're stuck, reach out so one of our coaches can help you break through those barriers and you can accelerate into that next level. You can penetrate the next level of what you want to create in financial freedom. One of the greatest feelings is knowing that passive income's coming in, whether you're working it or not, and knowing that your bills are paid, that your lifestyle is paid for. It's like if you can get the stabilization you're gonna find that you have a really good lifestyle so don't wait don't put this off I know it sounds simple and it sounds easy because it is getting to that level may not be but getting clear and, and really going through that work can really help you accelerate that so if you need some help with that through coaching do it but it is such an incredible peace of mind knowing that you have passive income coming in and you're not going to have to worry about where's the next money coming in to pay your bills all right guys so if you found value in this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment below would love to know your thoughts what's your four financial freedom numbers i'd love to know what they are most importantly, hit that subscribe button and that notification button so that when videos come out, you're alerted so that you can jump in and watch it so you can help yourself on the path to financial freedom. So with that, guys, thanks for tuning in. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.